Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Thank God for blessing me to be here. Amen. Not only that, but thank God for blessing me to be able to come on uh, internet. Amen. And share a word from the Almighty. Amen. So if you have the Bible, let us go forth. We're going to be, I'm going to be speaking out of the book of Acts, the Acts of the Prophet, of the Apostles. Chapter 13. Now there were in the church that was at <clears throat> Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas, Simeon, that were called Niger, and Lucius, or Serene, and Manian, which had been brought up with Herod, the Tishbite, no, not Tishbite, but the Tishiot, and Saul, okay? And as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, separate me, Barnabas, and Saul. The Holy Ghost actually came to them and told them, separate who, who, who do you tell? Those that was at the places I just told you about in Antioch. Amen. These certain ones, prophets and teachers. They were there in Antioch. In Antioch all right. And they were fasting. And they were praying. Amen. And as they were doing that, the Holy Ghost said, the Holy Ghost what said, he presented himself and he said, separate me. Otherwise, I want y'all to separate for me. The Holy Ghost speaking this. Separate me, Barnabas and, and who? And Saul. He said, separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work where unto I have what? Called them. In other words, I have a particular work that I want them to do. All right, give them to me. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. Let me let me stop right there for a minute. Is that when we become saved by the word of God, amen, and now. Um, and uh, that tells God that we belong to him. He's our father in heaven. Jesus, our Lord. Amen. See, our sacrifice, the word of God, made flesh, came down, died for sin, to be raised for our justification and God being justified in what in the last day giving us eternal life. But on our way to get eternal life, see, we going through this, what you call, I would say, parole. I mean, when I got out of prison, they didn't let me out without giving me what parole. They wanted to try me out, how I would do in society. See, almost the same thing God, what, when God saved us, he put us on parole. See how we would do while we, what, on parole here. See, will we last and endure that we might inherit what? Real freedom, eternal life. You see what I'm saying? So here we find out here the people of God, the, the apostles and the teachers, more than one, they was in this place here and they were fasting, praying, and the Holy Ghost what? Presented himself. And he gave the, uh, the apostles and the teachers and the prophets, he gave them what? A task to do. He says, separate me, Barnabas and Saul. See, for the work that I have for them to do. They're going to another vineyard. They're going to another place, another section of the city or wherever. Or, or, or maybe another country within that area. You know, going somewhere else to put the priest the gospel of Jesus Christ. See, so when we become come saved, we go through a training process, see, 
And that is what? To learn of God's word and to allow God's word to be what? In us. See? That we may preach this word here. And also at the same time that we might learn it ourselves. The effectiveness of God's word. We believe what God says. We step out on what God what? Said. We keep his commandments. What God what? Said. Tell us to do. See, we're going through a training process, but at the same time, as we go through a training process, we become what? Apostles. We become what? Uh, 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 teachers of what? Of the word. I know most of you are hearing of the fivefold ministry. Apostles, uh, evangelists, uh, 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 pastors, uh, 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 and, and, and about, I think it's a couple of more, a uh, couple of more, you know what I mean? See? The fivefold ministry. Those are the basic things in which we, what we are sent out to do, you know, to, evan to evangelize, to preach the gospel, to teach the gospel, you see, as we what being what trained and elevated in the Spirit of God by the Holy Ghost. See, that's what's going on here now. As I speak in, speak in the book of Acts chapter 13, okay? Then it said here, as they ministered to the Lord, and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work whereunto I have called them. In other words, God want to put you to work, my saint, my brothers and my sisters, the saints of God. You call yourself based in Christ, call whatever. You made a decision what you want to know God. You made a decision you want to what? You want to what? Be like God. You made the decision you want to what? Serve God in truth and in spirit, in spirit and in truth, his word. Amen. Because yeah. faith come by hearing, and hearing come by what? The Word of God. It, it all boils down to the Word of God. Jesus said what? I be the Word. Jesus said, I be the Word. He said, my Father is a Spirit. See? So the Word is what? The, spirit, the Word is what? Spirit. Spirit. That jumps out of these pages here and live in what? The willing men and women that wanted what? To serve God in His Word, truth, spirit, and in truth. See? We are, made, we are made up our mind that we want to serve God. See? But we got to what? Be heard. We, we want faith. We need faith. That means we got to what? Have faith in God to obey God, to believe God, to trust in God. Amen? Okay, let me go on. Three. And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. In other words, they shook, they kissed, they hugged. You know what I mean? They laid their hands on them. They prayed over them. That's sent them out with a blessing. God will keep them, strengthen them. Ain't nothing, ain't, ain't nothing, ain't nothing strange about that right there. That's the way the people of God act. We think of others more than we think of ourselves. You know what I mean? The brother get ready to lead, the brother get ready to go to another vineyard of the Lord, the priest to teach the doctor of Jesus Christ. We don't know we, whether or not we're gonna see them, her or him in the flesh anymore. See, because once you give your life to God, your life is not yours, your life belongs to God. God immediately what? Put you on this altar here. In the Bible it said that the earth, planet the earth, is the altar of the Lord. It's the place in which God what? Put on his living sacrifice, which is you and I that have given our life to God, the word. Put it on the altar. What you put things on the altar for? You put it on there to put as a sacrifice. See? To be what? Misused, burn, whatever it takes for for to get the results for their for their uh, sacrifice on their altar. That it may what? Bring forth what? Good fruits. We mean good fruit. People that will be affected thereby what? The word of God. See, Jesus was the sacrificial lamb. He died for the sins of the world. He took their sins on him. And he carried him to Calvary. But early, dawn to walk the first, he rose, he got up with all power in his hand. Huh? He got up. Death couldn't keep him in the ground. See, that's the same thing with every born again, blood bought saint of Almighty God. We are put on the altar of the Lord. We think we put on the altar to look good, to make millions and all. No, we put on the altar of the Lord as a sacrifice, a human sacrifice. See, they carry this message. Because you will gonna you will die because of this word here. 
You will die. You can die with your feelings being hurt. You can die being uh, 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 disappointed, all kinds of ways. But the true end of the matter is, guess what? This flesh is going away here. Because somebody, the devil don't like it, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I want to debate in Christ. Yo, you just, those that had just given their life to Christ, I want to let you know God putting you to work. He's sending you to vineyards right now. This is the reason why he put you to work, to teach you, to guide you, for you to become what? Prophets, and teachers, and profiteers, huh? In God's word, by God's word. Raised by God's word, taught by God's word, huh? Born by God's word, new life, new creature, and sent by God. All right? And so they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is the power of God. God himself. Huh? For the Bible said what? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. In the name. Still didn't give you his name. But Acts 2.38, what Acts 2.38 said, In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, which you have uh, crucified. Huh? In that name. He, that's the name. Jesus Christ. Jesus said what? Again, I am the word. My Father and I is what? Huh? Spirit. Be the word. Huh? Huh? Even Jesus said what? My heavenly father. Your father and my heavenly father. Your father and my father. One and the same. One and the same. So we're not going to bigger it all about all that right there. But God was doing all he with all the avenues just to bring us back to himself. See? Our blood bought uh, souls of Almighty God or his human race. All right. So they being sent forth by the Holy Ghost departed unto Seles, Seleucia. And from there they sailed to Cyprus. And when they were in Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. And they had also John to their minister, John to their minister. Okay, and they had also John to their ministry. Ministry, huh? They serving God. It's Jesus' ministry. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a serving in the word of the true and living God. That's his ministry. He, he imparted to us as well. We co-laborers with him. He co we co labor It's not my ministry. It's Christ's ministry. He rose, amen. He died and he rose for us. We didn't do anything but say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Our free will, yes, Lord. We serve you, see, in spirit and in truth, what, in your word. Go back to the word. Go back to the word, amen. If you don't read but a little bit, just go back to the word. Read, read, and let the Holy Ghost have free course in your spirit. To tell you where you need, where he they, he wants you to go in this world, so you can learn and be like God, walk like God, talk like God, act like God. Amen. Through the Word, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Okay. And when they went to Salamis, they preached the Word of God in the synagogues, more than one, of the Jews, and they had also John to their minister. And when they had gone through the Isles of Papyrus, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, who name was Bar Jesus. Let me let me let me break this thing down to you. On the disciples, the apostles, teachers of God, as they went to different types, different types of area in, in, in the vineyards of the Lord. Amen. Vineyard. The vineyard is a place that you, you it's a set that you, you you go to work at. It's just like you, if you was a wine owner and you had land that grew wine, wine, vine for wine or whatever. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's part of your vineyard. So you had to keep it up. You had to work it so it can bring forth the best wine and so forth. Same thing with God here. But his wine is God wine is what? It's the word. So he sent us to the vineyard that belongs to him to work the vineyard, to work the places here. That they may bring forth what? 
the, the, the wine, the, the, the spirit of Almighty God, huh? The new wine, you talk. See, and like on the day of Pentecost, they thought the disciples were drunk because they was out there speaking all different kinds of languages and stuff, and everybody heard them in their own language. What they were saying, the disciples were saying to them. They thought they were drunk with new wine or whatever. See, not knowing it was new wine, but it was the Holy Ghost, the power of the Spirit of Almighty God that had, what? Got into their spirit by free will and their choice to learn of God, to serve God in spirit, in spirit and in truth, the word. All right? It said here, going back down here, going back down here, and when they, who is they? The prophets and the teachers, the, the babes in Christ, huh? Who is they? Those that just became saints of the Almighty God, huh? What a mindset to serve God in, in his word, huh? Huh? It said, it said, when they had gone through the aisles, aisles, what the aisles? These like islands, small islands. You know what I mean? You know what the island is? See? It's land surrounded by what? Water. Huh? So the kind of land that was what? Surrounded by water. And they border, they border what? One another. You know what I mean? See? See? So they were going there, what? The priest to who? The priest to whom? Priest to the people that what? They didn't know nothing about God. Or they chose not to know nothing about God. Or maybe heard something about God. They didn't understand fully how to serve God in spirit and in truth. So God sent them to what? To open up their understanding. That they might understand who God is. What he is. What can he do? You know what I mean? How he came to what? To save us. From death and hell. The lake of fire. And give us what? Life eternal. We didn't earn it. We couldn't pay for it. It was free. Free. See? Okay. It said here, and found a certain sorcerer. But look what they call the sorcerer. The sorcerer will call a false prophet. See? A Jew. Hmm? Who name was Bar Jesus. In other words, when they said that right there, they're saying that this was just not any kind of, this was a man that claimed to be what? A Jew. If I told you, if I told you this is a Jew, and you all hung up on that, that word, that J-E-W, a Jew, they're the children of God. They love God. They keep the Sabbath. Blah, blah, blah. But here we got a Jew here that they call what? A sorcerer. A false what? Prophet. What they tell you? They tell you that the devil can get into anybody. I don't care what name you are. You can call yourself Susan Q or whatever. I don't care who you are, what lineage you're from or whatever. Look, let me tell you something. The devil can get in you. I don't care your daddy, your mama, what, was the most pious people in the world or whatever the case may be in God, whatever. Look, look, you is you. See? The devil don't care who you are. You are not off limits. See, because your name is so and so on. You came from such such family. No. See, everybody will have they what? Have to stand up and, 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 and bow before the Lord at the end of the day. Make no difference who you are. So that means what? That means you got to find God for yourself. And you have to desire to obey God for yourself. Not because of mama, sister, brother, no, no. For yourself. You see what I'm saying? So here, here this is a this is a sorcerer. What a sorcerer. He dealt in what? Uh, 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 what do you call it? Dev divination. Divination. Devious things. Ran by the prince of darkness. We talked about that. Huh? Sorcerer. Black magic. Huh? Huh? Deceit. Deceiving. Whom he made what? Deceive. See? And he called himself what? Trying to latch on to the people of God as a prophet. I, I, I'm a prophet of Jesus. I'm, 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 I'm a prophet of God. God. Huh? And then he said, hey, I, I, I'm a Jew. I'm with y'all too. I'm, I'm, I'm a Jew. But his lifestyle was not measured up to what he had called himself to be. You see, when everybody heard, that's a Jew. When everybody heard what? Hey, I'm a prophet. Your lifestyle ain't adding up. 
See, that's why it's so important. You call yourself a baby. In fact, you call yourself this. You call yourself that. I'm a preacher. Huh? I'm a prophetess. I'm all this way. Right. But is your life adding up to the word of God? You can call yourself anything. But I want to see the proof. See, and my mama say what? The proof is in the pudding. I want to see the proof. And I find out that some of you ain't who, who you say you are. Huh? Here it is. See? Number seven, which was in, which was real, the deputy of the country, Sir, Sir Gus, Sir Yus, I think it's Sir, Sir, Sir Yus, S-E-R-G-I-U-N, Paulus, P-A-U-L-U-S, a prudent, which means wise, a wise man. So in this country here, where this false prophet was and the disciples, some of the teachers and the prophets were sent there in that country, there, you see what I'm saying? They came up on this one here that were close to the deputy that ran the country. And the deputy was Sergus or pa pa Paulus or Paulus, something like that. Amen. And he was a wise man. It didn't say he was a saint. It didn't say he was a Jew. It didn't say he was a preacher. It didn't say he was all this, that, in the bag of chips. No, it said that he was a wise man, which meant what? Which meant what? It was some good in him. He was prudent. It was some good in him. It's some good in all of us. You need to know your worth. Just because you don't go to church, just because you don't do like everybody else right now, you know that, what they call serving God, but you have a desire to what? To do good, to do right, to be just, to have a godly life. You have no traits there. can only come from God. See? So what you do, you open yourself up to what? To learn of God. Learn of God. It's not just about just doing good and about this right. You got to know where it comes from. What motivates you. You got to learn something about God and his kingdom. You see what I'm saying? See? But I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't cuss. I don't ho hop. I don't do it. Yeah, but you're still a sinner. In the eyes of God, you're still a sinner. God said what? All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of Almighty God, of what God has for us. Fall short. Fall short. Say we need a Savior. We need somebody that have not sinned, and Jesus Christ had not sinned. But he took the, the sin on himself that belongs to us. We should have died in that place there, and not Jesus died in our place. See? If that would have happened, Jesus would have been, he wouldn't have done nothing wrong, he, nothing wrong by doing that. But because he loved, out of love for God, out of his Father, out of love for his creation, he what? He switched the place where you and I should have died. And he died in place. And not only that, but he said, I will give you life and life more abundantly. I mean, you're going to have a good life here, serving God, and you're also going to have what? Eternal life. God, God just going to give it to you. See, running over. All right, let me get back in here, baby. This sorcerer here, this sorcerer here, he was close to the deputy. You know how people like to be close to people that got a clean cut life and everything, you know what I mean? You know, they, we, call, we call what you call, they try to use them as a, like an A burger, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, hang around that which is good, hang around that which you can get things done, how people look at you that person that you're hanging around or whatever, you know, and saying, uh, as long as I hang around you or whatever, nobody would think I ever do this right here or doing this right here under the table or whatever. Because they would think, be out, out, they, would, they would think that I'd be a good man or a good woman or a good person. You see what I'm saying? So that's the way this saucer would hang around what? This prudent man that ran the country. Huh? See? He would go around and say, well, I know the deputy of the country. I'm close to him. See? So people will automatically pick up and say, okay, yeah, he close, he close to the deputy. He, he know the deputy, and we know the deputy is a wise man. You see what I'm saying? See? He's wanting to use the, the deputy as an enabler. See? 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 To boost what? His ratings. 
say. The Bruce is waiting to who? Those that really don't know what this joke is all about. Or this woman is all about. Or this teenager, or whatever the case may be, is all about. Ain't about God. All right, let me go ahead and finish up. But, and, and yeah, and who called, and, and see, let me go back to seven, which was with this, this uh, false prophet, this sorcerer, this Jew, which was with the deputy of the country, okay, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. Who called for Saul and Barnabas? The deputy, this prudent man, huh? This sorcerer then, huh? Huh? This Jew then, this evil prophet he called himself, he was a prophet, then the wise man, the wise one that ran the country, he called what? Bonimus, Bonimus, there it is, and Saul. And he inquired, he desired to know something about God. You know what I mean? Know something about God. See? And, they, and he called the right one. He called the right one. Number eight, but Elymas, Elymas, E-L-Y-M-A-N, the sorcerer. That was his name. See? See? That was his name. For such is his name by interpretation. You see what I'm saying? So his name down here, they will call, he will call what? By Jesus. But if you interpret that in the Jewish language or whatever the language that was for the day at there where he worked, it was for, his name was being interpreted. It was Elamus. Elamus. All right? Withstood who them. Who he withstood. He was still Paul. No, no, Bonimus. Yeah, Bonimus and, uh, and Paul. The, the men saw the men of God. He was still there. Another way he did, he came in confrontation with them. See, y'all here to show me up, and I'm close to the deputy. deputy. Well, somebody going through that right now. Y'all here to show me up, and I'm close to the pastor. I'm close to the, the pastor wife. I'm close to the pastor children, and you come to show me up? Talk about another saint that coming in that area there. Living, God, living like God, walking like God, talking like God, obeying God, trusting in God. Huh? Y'all come to show me up? You trying to, you trying to steal my thunder? Huh? And I'm close to the mayor, the governor. No, 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 no. Ain't that ain't gonna happen. That ain't, these are false prophets, y'all. But he or she, that's the real false prophet. So that's a scenario that this, we see here today that's going on in 2024. But look at this right here. Elements of sorcery, for such as his name by interpretation, withstood, went against them who Saul and Bonima that was called by the deputy to tell them about what? Jesus Christ, the word of the true and living God that would reveal what? The Father. Jesus said, nobody can come to me, come to my Father, but through me. You got to learn of me. Because I can tell you about the Father. And nobody can come to me and tell me that my Father sent him. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. See? Okay. Uh, let me keep on. Let me keep on. Then Saul. Saul. Who also will call Paul. See? 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 So, 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 uh, the interpretation for the name of Saul was Paul. So this tells me that this is a, a the Jewish uh, interpretation there. See, the interpretation of uh, uh, by Jesus was what? Elamus, the sorcerer. See? See? So let me get back in and tell you what happened. It said here, then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him, on whom? This evil prophet, this Jew here, this sorcerer here. He set them away. He looked at him. He gave he gave them a he gave him a look. Gave him a look. See? See? 
That's what we saying sometimes had to do with these evil and wicked people. You just have to stand there and give them a look here. But see, let me tell you what uh, 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 what would happen. See, Paul, Saul, which was Paul, he was full with the what? The Holy Ghost. That means what? The power of Almighty God. The might of Almighty God. The wisdom of Almighty God. He will feel, that means he, he will God sent, bought, God bought, God raised, God taught, and everything. He fit the bill. And it said that, that Saul looked at Elamus, the sorcerer, and this is what, this what Saul said. He looked at him. And Saul said this, O full of all subtlety and all mischief, thou child of the devil. He is looking at Elamus, the sorcerer. Huh? They call himself the prophet. They call himself the Jew. He's looking at him in his eyes and telling him this, full with the Holy Ghost. Just like God is talking to him. See? And God was, through Paul, by what? The Holy Ghost. The power of Almighty God. He said, and he called it elements. And see, there's a lot of elements going around here now in 2024. See? And God wanna let us know that hey, we serve a living God. We serve a God that got more power than the devil. You understand me? And we don't have to back up. Turn around, go left, go right, and run from the devil. We don't have to do that. We can look them in the eye just like what Paul or Saul looked, what? Elamus, the sorcerer, the prophet, the evil prophet, what? The Jew, well, in his eyes. See? 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 God said, God said what? One saint can send what? 10,000 in flight. See? And kill what? 1,000 on the side, something that goes, something that, but let you know that, hey, God got power. God got power. So here it is right here. He looked at Elamus. He said, oh, fool. That means you are full of subtlety, trickery, deception. He's a con artist. You don't mean nobody no, no, no good. That's what he's he telling. But when he's looking at, looking at Elamus, telling Elamus that, he also telling that with a rules, ruling element, the devil, Satan, Satan, the Lucifer. They have took control of his faculty, control of his who? Elements. Elements now took control of his what? His spirit just for that moment there. To act and do the things against what the righteous men of God. And Paul looked at him. He said, Oh, full of all subtlety. All mischief. You know what mischief is? You know how you say a child? You so mystery. You so always doing you 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 keep doing thing, the wrong thing. You know what I mean? See? Mis mischievous. That's the word I'm looking for. Mischievous. You so mischievous. See? Always doing mean things, saying mean things. And he looked at this prophet here. He said, Thou child of the devil. He came out with it. He said, Element, the sorcerer. Huh? This prophet here, this Jew here, and he said what? Elamus. Huh? Or his name was what? By Jesus. Huh? Huh? See? He looked at him and he called him what? The child of the devil. Huh? Have you ever had somebody around you like that right there? That's what that's what that's what you standing before. A child of the devil. See? Always trying to do something wrong. Always trying to call habit. Always lying, stealing, killing, robbing, raping. Huh? Good for nothing. Huh? Well, let me keep on. Huh? Thou enemy of all righteousness. That's what they are. They are an enemy of all righteousness. What that mean? If you're an enemy, that mean what? Huh? You're against something. And what is this something? Righteousness. He stand up against righteousness. See? To denounce righteousness. To denounce the holiness of God. The power of God. The word of God. The teaching of God. The love of God. You see what I'm saying? Are y'all still here? Huh? That's what Paul's saying. See? Will thou not cease? Will thou not stop? Huh? 
huh? To pervert, in other words, when do you want to stop being mean and evil? To pervert the truth, the righteousness, and the justice, and peace and wholeness of Almighty God live now in the, their willing vessels, their, the, 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 the saints' vessels. They have willingly what? Sought out to what? To serve God in what? In, in spirit and in truth. When are you going to stop the devil? When are you going to stop the devil? Huh? When are you going to cease? When are you going to stop? See? Huh? And cease to pervert. When are you going to stop? Cease to pervert. Huh? That which is righteous. Or his, as I say here, the right ways of the Lord. He asked, the, he asked the devil a question. Then Saul, then, then Saul came in and said this, And now, behold, the hand of the Lord is upon thee, and thou shalt be blind, not seeing the sun for a season. And immediately there fell on him, who is him? Elements, the false prophet. Huh? The false prophet, the Jew. Huh? The sorcerer. There fell on him a mist and a darkness, and he was, and he went, went about seeking how to what, how to. He went out seeking some to lead him by the hand. By the hand. Saul cursed him by the power of Almighty God. We have that power. And we don't go around trying to seek and try to, try to, no, but see, but see, this man was possessed by the power of the devil, see, see, and he was impersonating what a righteous saint or the righteousness of Christ, and he was none about that right there, see, see. Saul could have said, by the name of Jesus, I strike you right now, fall down and die, but he didn't, he didn't do that, he didn't do that. See, he could have said that. God would have honored that. But he didn't do that. He must have saw something in this man here or this this man here that will possess that he might be change he might change his mind after a year of being somebody had to lead him in darkness, conceived with his sight. See. So God gave him another chance. This evil wicked man. You see what I'm saying? See? See? So that's on that right there. And then it goes on to say here, I'm going to read the last verse about the devil. Then the deputy, which he saw, was, no, no. And the deputy, when he saw what Paul, what Saul was, let me see, let me read it right. Then the deputy, when he saw what was done, that what Paul did to this sorcerer, he believed. He believed the word of God. He believed the men, Barnabas and Saul, that was preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. It said the deputy believed. That's the real power right there. Elements that was a fake sorcerer. See? A wicked Jew by in name on him. See? 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 And it said he that this dep this deputy, he saw what was done. He believed. Being astonished at the doctrine of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I hope and pray that we got something out of that. These are the last days in the time. God is God is is here. He already here. See, and things are happening and that we don't even know about around the world. Even things that happen right close up on us and we don't even know about. See? But God has already told us about it in his word. We need to search the word before it get too late. We need to come to God. I mean, while we, while we can. You see what I'm saying? So, I thank God for the opportunity to be able to, to share with you. Amen. I mean, this, this, this word, this session here, that we have power with Jesus Christ. See, we got power with Jesus Christ. Amen. We can tell the enemy. We can tell the enemy. Huh? Be ye what cast into the sea, and it will move out our way. In Jesus' name, we do pray. We thank God for just blessing and keeping us. Lord, 
Thank you for your word. Thank you for your love. Thank you for a life. Thank you for a light showing us in darkness. In Jesus' name, we pray for one another and pray for all of the human family that men, women, boys, and girls will be saved even as we speak. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. God bless you.